So as we come to the end of a hugely successful Global Engineering Congress, I wanted to reflect on what we've achieved. We came with the mandate of the UN Secretary General to turn words into action. We came to look at how the global engineering profession can decide how it is going to support the delivery of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. We've talked forever about the SDGs. This week has shown that we, as a global engineering profession, can come together and really decide how we are going to help implement these changes. It has been a stunning week. We have seen two and a half thousand delegates from over 80 countries with, with government delegations from over 18 countries. And they have come together and they have been discussing the real issues that we in the world will face over the coming years. The issues of demographic change, the issues of climate change, the issues of population growth. And we have seen discussions here where people have shared their knowledge. We've seen how people have talked about smart cities, perhaps more advanced smart cities, transferring knowledges and knowledge to cities that, that need more help. We've seen talk about sewerage. We've seen talk about clean water. This is what engineers can do when they come together. This Global Engineering Congress has proved just what a global profession can achieve when it puts its mind to it. This GEC has shown that we can turn words into action. We now need to take that forward. We can't lose the momentum of everything that we have done here. And bluntly, if not us, then who?